like right outside. Man, his fucking door. maestro just ate up all my fucking shit. I got lesion. Check down these steps. I got alibi. Hatch. Oh, who is this? Oh shit! He's right there to your right, maestro. Nice, Ten and two, holy crap, you suck. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dirty Dave, and in this video, we're gonna be attacking Arsenal and Church here on Clubhouse. Going over to my operator recommendations, there's plenty of operators you can use to substitute the ones that I'm gonna recommend, but I'm trying to narrow it down to a select few. So for our first two picks, we're gonna need an operator that has soft breaching and fragging power. So for that. We're going to be taking Sledge with a shotgun, and I'll explain why the shotgun later on. Now for our second pick, we're going to be taking Jackal or Zofia, your choice. Now for our third pick, we need someone who can pin down the defenders from rotating, so that's going to be Blackbeard or Glaz. For our fourth pick, we're going to have Habana as our hard breacher, and our final pick is going to be our planter, and we need smokes. So we're going to be taking Monty since he does have smokes and he can put his shield on his back to cover himself while he plants. So now that we have our operators, let's get right to it. So we're all going to be spawning construction site and then right here as I go through the round, I'm going to try to explain how the other operators can substitute the ones that I'm mentioning right now and showing you guys. So let this joining phase end real quick. Right here, so we're all gonna be push, uh, pushing from construction because it's the kitchen side. So, right, the first thing is the hard reacher. Habana only needs to open up two things kitchen hatch and the cave wall, right here. So, in the other video on my Habana tips and tricks, I show you guys how to use one Habana charge to make a hole that you can crouch through. So, you guys can go watch that. I'll link it in the description. But right here, Habana's gonna open this up for Blackbeard or Glass. And what they're going to do is that they're going to chill in the cave the whole round and just pinning down the defenders. Trying to rotate through through blue, trying to come through the hall or behind these supply crates. That's their whole job. So Habana is going to open that up whether it's one or two charges. Then she's going to open up the kitchen hatch from outside. And the reason why I didn't say thermite even though we're only breaching two things is because... A lot of times there's a Valkyrie or a Pulse trying to see for you from below since the floors are soft from from down below. So that's why we take Habana because you can repel and open up the hatch. So that's Habana's job. And then Monty is just going to be waiting in freezer until it's time to go plant. So that's our first three operators. Now these final two, this is Sledge, Jack, or Sophia. Depend, depending if you take glass or not. So their job is to clear roamers and do the soft breaching. So the reason why we're going up here is to avoid getting C4 by pulse below kitchen, but also to clear roamers. So right here, this is the main thing. This is the whole point of the strat. And the reason why I didn't choose Buck over Sledge is because Buck doesn't have enough soft breaching. Like he, he'll run out pretty fast. So right here, what we're going to do is just open up this wall. So right here, this is Arsenal. So imagine this. You plant the bomb in Arsenal back here under kitchen. And when you're trying to defuse the bomb, you're over here getting shot from the second floor when the objective is basement. So right here, you can open up this pretty well. So you guys get the point. Like, Zofia can do this as well with her. She has two impact grenades that she can shoot. So that's the whole point, getting the bomb down back here and just covering it. So right here, and then also Jackal is a great roamer hunter. Uh, Zofia, she has a clean one to watch the back while Sledge is trying to breach. But if there is roamers, this area is really close quarters. So it's another good reason why they have the shotgun. And then Zofia's gun's great, Jackal's gun's great. So that's the whole point. And then uh, over here is the kitchen hatch. So right there, I didn't open it up. So yeah, this is literally the whole point of the strat. So we have two good fraggers to handle the roamers, but they also need soft breaching so we can defend the bomb all the way up from the top. So let me go show you, I didn't show Monty yet. So once they do the soft breaching, it's good for Monty to go. 
Monty with his smokes, and also Monty, he can be replaced by, uh, like, all the shields. Fuse has smokes, Blitz has smokes, Doki has smokes. That's, uh, that's what you mostly need is smokes, and then while she goes to drop, she can do a logic bomb call instead of having the shield on her back. Kind of a way to protect herself. And then with IQ, IQ is a good pick for Sophia or Jackal because they can handle Pulse or Valkyrie. So I did it. Kind of forgot to mention those. So Monty, before he drops, he's going to smoke here, smoke here. Most likely, this wall is going to be kept intact, but probably not reinforced. And then Monty, he can plant over here, wherever. They, they can tell Monty where to plant. You know, you can see anywhere. So Monty can plant anywhere he wants. And then Monty, once the bomb is down, he just extended babysitting the freaking bomb. There's no way they're going to get through Monty. Then Habana, she's just going to be overwatching the hatch. Just trying to stop people from pushing Monty. And you guys kind of get the strat from there. So that's the first strat. And let's go over to the next one. For our second strat, we're going to be rushing from blue and planting an arsenal. So going to my operator recommendations, a rush wouldn't be a rush without blitz and line. So they're going to be our first two picks. For our third pick, we need someone to lead the way for Blitz. So we're going to be taking Twitch to handle those pesky mines and to antagonize whoever's in blue. For our fourth and fifth pick, we're going to go with the same combo of Habana and Glass or Blackbeard, the pin down operator that will play Cave. So Habana needs to open up Cave for them and get the stock hatch instead of the kitchen hatch. So I'm going to go Buck. Let's get right into it. So we're going to have three ops spawn warehouse. Let's go over here in the page. So this is going to be Blitz, Lion, and Twitch. And then spawning construction site will be Habana and Blackbeard or Glass to do the pin down. Alrighty, so let's get right to it. So we're going to be rushing over here from warehouse into the garage storage or garage closet, which is right here. And this is Blitz. Blitz is going to push through here. Lion is going to be covering. And then Twitch is going to be on her drone, clearing the way, clearing any lesion mines, any yellow mines, whatever, anything to block. And then Mew Jammers, they're trying to block Lion. Usually there will be someone here. Most likely this wall will be reinforced. And Blitz is going to clear here and try to plant wherever he can in this area. So that's pretty simple as it is. And then going over to Cave, it's going to be Habana and Black Bear Glass. Whichever you take, it'll be the same thing. So you got to be pretty fast. You might, Blitz might want to wait for Black Bear or Glass to come through. So they can get that cover and stop those rotations. So here, they're going to be covering mainly the hallway and watching the rotation. There must likely be someone down here under kitchen, like a pulse or something. So it's something you got to watch out for. So Blitz, once it gets the bomb down, he has this hallway on lock. Whoever's coming through this door is going to get flashed and shot in the back by Glass or Blackbeard. And then Twitch and Lion, they can just come down here, try to get control of Blue. Try to stop the people from church rotating, rotating through. And a nice angle they can use is that they can shoot a hole up here with their gun. I would do it with Buck, but his recoil is crazy. And then you can kind of catch people trying to rotate. So right here, you can see their heads running by. So you might be able to pick someone off and something. And then Lion, he has a Claymore. So I would put it right there. And if you have Twitch, I would take a Breaching Charge just in case if there's a castle door or something. Maybe that's like the only time. You don't really need two Claymores. So yeah, that's it for the rush. Pretty simple. And it's just 50-50 whether they're ready for it or not. Oh, it worked pretty well though I think so that's it for that strat all right on to our final strat we're gonna be clearing from strip club and try to breach into church by opening up the main wall for main stairs so going to my operator recommendations we're gonna need a thatcher and a thermite to get that wall open up for our third and fourth pick we need some soft breaching but also entry fragging power so we're gonna be taking ash or Zofia for the third pick and ying for the fourth pick and for our final pick, we're going to be taking Doki to make that roam clear a bit easier. You can take line if you want. So those are our operators. Let's get right to it. So right here with this strat, you have a lot more roam clear to do since you're going to be pushing from the middle floor. And we're going to be spawning a shipping dock. And you can also spawn main gate. 
because you're going to be mainly trying to get control of bar. So there's a lot of ways you can get flanked from the top floor, bottom floor. So that's when Doken comes in hand and you need a little bit more entry fragging power. So the main goal of this is to open up church wall and plant the bomb be behind the bar or chest. So wait. So using Doki makes it real easy and a lot faster to clear rooms because you can just listen for that phone call and it'll save you a lot of time from droning. So right here there's a lot of times the roamers uh, roaming and stripping in this area between pool and bathroom. So that's pretty common. So since we have thermite we only need two things to open up. So we're going to open up this hatch that drops into moto leading into church. And we're going to open up the wall for main stairs. So right here main stairs and you can open this wall. So you can breach, um, I think the best spot to plant is right here just because you can shoot through that. But not a lot, not a lot of people know that to be honest. And maybe if they're playing blue, this might be a little bit worse. But if they're playing Arsenal heavy, then they can kind of get an angle onto you from there. So you kind of have to assess the situation. Are they playing blue real hard? Are they playing Arsenal real hard? Real hard? So it depends which side you want to breach. So if you want to breach here or here. So what the main thing you want to do, I think this one's the best uh, spot to breach. So, so let me clear it up. And sometimes there is a mirror on this wall. Sometimes uh, it's pretty common to have a reinforced mirror right there. I'm gonna drop the bomb right there. So I'm gonna show you guys the nice thing that you can do to help counter that. So kind of like with the with the first shot that I showed you guys defending the bomb from above. So if you can get it planted right there, you can watch it from above. So that's pretty nice. But also if they have a mirror on this middle wall, then you can drop a grenade. So usually they're gonna leave the walls next to the mirror hard wall soft so they can shoot through it so with a soft breacher say Zofia or you don't have a grenade but if you take uh, instead of ash or ying or something you take a soft breacher like buck you can shoot out the wall from above and then throw grenades or if you don't take that and go with my recommendations and ash and Zofia maybe you can just throw flash grenades and uh, try to breach the wall that way just go up to their sneak up flash mirror and yeah you can do that way that way it works as well too flash whoever's behind the mirror so then you get the plant here kill whoever's here plant the bomb here but also church is pretty hard to push through so that's why we need the entry fagging so that's when the lion call comes in and the ying push so you're gonna have a lot of things to watch out here too so you're gonna need real good control bar but also in times to come to push into church you can have ying or ash and with the line call just push through clear whoever's in church and ours or in blue so that's that's it for this push uh, pretty simple just a lot of room clear and then open up this wall and push in church so that's it for the video if you guys enjoyed please leave a like and if you want more dirty dave subscribe till then see you guys next time